You've probably seen the excellent James Bond movie Moonraker, where 007 battles bad guys in outer space. Far-fetched, maybe, but not entirely without some grounding in reality. Incredibly, the Soviet Union did put weapons in space. In fact, it built, launched and crewed a series of armed space stations. Disguised as civilian research vessels, these space stations were actually spying platforms outfitted with powerful optics and cameras to snap away at NATO military targets. And just in case those pesky Americans attempted to target or intercept one of these orbiting spy stations, each was armed with an aircraft rapid-fire cannon. It was straight out of the movies, but it actually was used. Almaz, which is Russian for diamond, was a type of Soviet military spy station successfully used in orbit in the 1970s. Tensions were high with the United States, and these manned stations allowed the USSR to precisely photograph things of interest to its military. Though later replaced by automatic reconnaissance satellites, the Almaz vessels, launched under the civilian codename Salyut, were highly effective. Each space station consisted of three parts, the orbital piloted station module, which was the actual space station, the functional cargo block, intended as a resupply craft for the station, and the VA spacecraft, a launch and return vehicle for the two or three man crews. This could be reused up to ten flights. The Orbital Piloted Station, or OPS, was 4.15 metres, or 13 feet 6 inches, in diameter, and had a mass of about 20 tonnes. These space stations were launched atop proton rockets. Each crew was supposed to remain in space for between 30 and 60 days, until they returned to Earth in the VA return capsule, and a fresh crew was sent up. The Soviets took defence of such a sensitive space station very seriously. A 23mm Richter gas-powered rapid-fire cannon was mounted on the forward belly of the OPS. It could be sighted and fired remotely by a cosmonaut who had to turn the entire station to aim. The gun was a modified version of that found in the tail of the Tupolev Tu-22 Blinder bomber. Ammunition capacity was 32 173-gram shells. The projectiles flew at 850 metres a second, relative to the speed of the orbiting station. But the Soviets were worried that such a powerful weapon would damage the Alamars due to significant vibration. The only way to find out was to test the weapon in space. Salyut 3, which was actually Almaz 2, was reaching the end of its operational life in the mid-1970s and was about to deorbit and burn up in the atmosphere. The last crew left aboard the VA spacecraft for Earth on the 19th of July 1974. Soviet Space Command then planned a test of the space cannon. A defunct, unmanned Soviet satellite was selected as a target, and on the 24th of January 1975, hours before commencing its deorbit, Almaz-2 came in range. Operated remotely from the ground, the station's jet thrusters were ignited to counteract the recoil of the cannon. Between one and three bursts were fired using 20 rounds at the satellite at ranges of 3,000 down to 500 metres, destroying it. Shortly afterwards, the Almaz station, the satellite and the fired cannon shells all burned up in the atmosphere. The Soviet Union remains, to this day, the only nation to have armed a space station and to have fired its weapons in space. But all that may change in the future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share and help support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.